This is Julie Bonner. What I'd like to share with you today is a particular part of the American Revolution that is related to our Bonner family in Pickens County. Basically, the start of the American Revolution started really with the Townshend Acts. Uh, they were started in 1767. There were six of them, and their big purpose was to raise revenue in the colonies. The purpose of that was to pay salaries of governors and judges with the whole idea of being able to keep the colonists loyal to Britain. The Tea Act was imposed on May 10th, 1773, but for the colonists, even though it didn't technically raise taxes, it was just the last straw for the colonists. And therefore, the Boston Tea Party occurred on December the 16th, 1773. On October the 25th in 1774, a group of ladies in Edenton, North Carolina, led by Penelope Barker, gathered at the home of Elizabeth King to protest against taxation without representation. This action was one of the earliest known organized political actions led by women in United States history. North Carolina had already resolved to boycott all British tea and cloth after September the 10th, 1774. And the women of Edenton signed this agreement in October, saying they, quote, were determined to give memorable proof of their patriotism, unquote, and could not be, quote, indifferent on any occasion that appears nearly to affect the peace and happiness of our country. It is a duty that we owe not only to our near and dear connections, but to ourselves." Unquote. During this period of time, protests were common, but women leading a protest was not. The British learned of this because Penelope sent a copy of this declaration to the British press. She said at the time, quote, maybe it has only been men who have protested the king up to now. That only means we women have taken too long to let our voices be heard. We are signing our names to a document, not hiding ourselves behind costumes like the men in Boston did at their tea party. The British will know who we are." Unquote. From England in January 1775, Arthur Iredell wrote his brother, James Iredell, describing England's reaction to the Edenton Tea Party. According to Arthur Iredell, the incident was not taken seriously because it was led by women. He sarcastically remarked, the only security on our side is the probability that there are but few places in America which possess so much female artillery as Edenton. The Edenton women were also satirized in a political cartoon published in London in March of 1775. Even though the Edenden Tea Party was ridiculed in England, it was praised in the colonies. The Edenton Tea Party had 50 women, or 51 if you include Penelope Barker. The signers of the declaration include Abigail Charlton, Mary Blunt, F. Johnstone, Elizabeth Creasy, Margaret Cathcart, Elizabeth Patterson, Anne Johnstone, Jane Wellwood, Margaret Pearson, Mary Woolard, Penelope Dawson, Sarah Beasley, Jean Blair, Susanna Vale, Grace Clayton, Elizabeth Vale, Francis Hall, Mary Jones, Mary Creasy, Anne Hall, Rebecca Bonfield, Ruth Benberry, Sarah Littlejohn, Sarah Halcutt, Penelope Barker, Sarah Hoskins, Elizabeth Ormond, Mary Little, M. Payne, Sarah Valentine, Elizabeth Johnston, Elizabeth Cricket, Mary Bonner, Elizabeth Green, Lydia Bonner, Mary Ramsey, 
Sarah Howe, Anne Hornblow, Lydia Bennett, Mary Hunter, Marion Wells, Tressia Cunningham, Anne Anderson, Elizabeth Roberts, Sarah Matthews, Anne Houghton, and Elizabeth Beasley. I have confirmed that Lydia Bonner, Mary Bonner, Penelope Dawson, and Elizabeth Roberts are related to the Bonner family of Pickens County. Lucy Bonner likely is, but I have not found the connection yet. And there are several others that could be related because of last names of women marrying into families that are known to be married into the Bonner line. Unlike many famous documents of the American Revolution, the petition signed at the Edenton Tea Party survives only because of British accounts. The text of the petition and the list of signers was printed in the Morning Chronicle and the London Advertiser on January the 16th, 1775. The full text of the petition reads, As we cannot be indifferent to any occasion, that appears nearly to affect the peace and happiness of our country. And as it has been thought necessary for the public good to enter into several particular resolves by a meeting of members deputed from the whole province, it is a duty which we owe, not only to our near and dear connections who have concurred in them, but to ourselves who are essentially interested in their welfare to do everything as far as lies in our power to testify our sincere adherence to the same. And we do, therefore, accordingly subscribe this paper as a witness of our fixed intention and solemn determination to do so.